In this video, we're going to see how to get some of the stuff we can do within SAS outside of SAS and into regular um, formats. The three formats we're going to look at is how to export things to HTML, to PDF, and to um, RTF. RTF is rich text format, which can be read then within Microsoft Windows or uh, LibreOffice or OpenOffice. Um, and the way SAS does this is with ODS, so Output Delivery System. So I'm just showing my desktop here to, to show that I'm hiding nothing under my, up my sleeves. And there's no files on here. And we're going to create a whole bunch of files. So I'll just start a SAS session. And again, this is running on Ubuntu, but running in Windows, it'll be very similar. You might start SAS slightly differently, but um, it's all very similar. So I'll just rearrange my windows. I like them to be in a particular way. Um, depending on the system you're running, you may or may not be able to change this. Whoops. Okay, so we've seen a whole bunch of procedure steps so far, and now how do we export some of our results for procedure steps? So the first one we're going to do is um, output a frequency table to HTML. And we do this very simply. ODS, output delivery system, and then we say the format, HTML, and we say where the format, where this file is going to go. So um, I want this to go on my desktop, desktop, and I'm going to call this freak underscore table and I put the file extension in. Importantly, the file extension for an HTML file is htm. And then within after this, I just write the normal code. So proc freak um, data equals mat008.jjj, which we've used quite a few times. Run. And then we close this by ods html close. And so in essence, we, we create this ods envelope, and we can put a whole bunch of uh, SAS statements within it. And if I run this, that happens. And then, first of all, the logs happen. It does produce the normal output, but obviously, you sh hopefully, you can also see that it's created an HTML um, file there. So if I open that um, with Google, uh, with Google Chrome, or any other browser, Internet Explorer or Firefox, we see the output is there. And that's quite nice because uh, HTML is a very versatile format. Let me get rid of that. Right, we can do other things. We can export to PDF, ODS PDF, where the file is going to go. And so what we're going to do here is a, a scatter plot. So I'm going to put that on my desktop as well, desktop, and I'm going to call that scatter plot dot PDF. I'm going to do proc g plot, which is just the the procedure that I choose to use for my my plots, my scatter plots. Proc proc g plot data equals um, mat008.jjj and I want to plot the height in meters height in meters against the weight in kg and um, run that and again I have to close the ODS envelope so ODS PDF close so if we Oh, there's an error apparently, so let me just find out what the error is. I have to admit I can't see it off the top of my head, so I'll go through my... Oh yes, I, I'm forgetting the plot statement. Plot height in meters against weight in kg. So if we run that, again everything happens as it normally does. The SAS system creates um, the plot. But hopefully what you can also see over here is a PDF being created. So if I open up that PDF, and this is um, viewable in any any PDF viewer, um, we see the same plot. Okay. Now the final one we're going to look at is RTF, so rich text format. So ODS RTF file equals, and then wherever we want to go. And again, Windows, your, your slash would be in a different. Uh, direction, um, but anyway, regression.rtf. So I'm creating a file called re regression, it's of the type rtf, and I'm going to do this proc reg data equals mat008.jjj, and I want to do a regression on weight in kg 
model by height in meters. So I press run and then ODS RTF close. Okay, so nothing. These three lines of code here are just the normal SAS code, and then I just got this RTF RTS envelope either side of it. So if I run that, you already see it's created something over there. Everything's finished. And now I can just open this. So I could open in Word. Uh, I've got LibreOffice on this machine, so it'll just open in LibreOffice there. And there we have the, the outputs of the SAS procedure. And so we see all the, the graphs there. And that's uh, a nice way to get stuff into Word if you if you need to. Um, and of course you, you can you can put multiple things inside a particular RTF. So so for example if I took this um let's make that a bit bigger. If I took this code, um, well let me yeah. I put it in there, and, and note also, I'm not really worrying about the fact that everything's in a line or not. Um, and I'm going to change the name of this to um, combination. So now I've got this first gplot procedure, and I've got a regression procedure. And if I run everything, it's created a new PDF that I wanted, and in this PDF, um, I'll just leave it like that. You first of all see more or less everything. First of all the, the results from the first procedure, then the results from the second procedure. Okay? And that's basically what you can do with ODS. So using the output delivery system you can put any bit of SAS code in between um, two ODS statements and, uh, and output to wherever you want. PDF is a great file format to go to because you can just cut things out of a PDF and put them whatever you want. But obviously, if you're going to Word, then RTF is um, is handy.